Here we are travelling south towards Surface Paradise, coming into the Gold Coast. Queensland beaches are as good as or better than any other beaches in the world. There's an amazing range of beaches all the way from Surface Paradise right down to the southern end of Coolangatta. Lunch just off the famous Cavill Avenue. Wicked campers are all over Australia. I guess they are in other parts of the world as well. There are some great souvenir shops, obviously in such a tourist mecca as the Gold Coast. You can buy all sorts of things that, in along the Gold Coast. pick up a lot of famous Australian brands uh, like Ugg Boots and Billabong and a lot of other different Australian brands. This is the view from the amazing Q1 on the Gold Coast. Looking north from Surface Paradise. Q1 Resort and Spa, I think it's still the tallest building in Australia. Kickbacks, relax and enjoy that view. There is a cafe on the observation deck and there's also a tour you can take, which is an external tour that goes around the steps up the outside. Looking south towards Coolangatta now. It is an amazing view on a clear day, just beautiful. Super Duck is a great way to get around the Gold Coast. Book it prior and you can travel around the coast and on the waterways. We've just stopped off at Kurumban Wildlife Bird Sanctuary at Talibudjara. It is a beautiful little place. I'm only going to touch on some of the attractions of the Gold Coast. It's better to look yourself. They have an adventure course at Talibudjara Wildlife Bird Sanctuary. It is not for the faint of heart, climbing up quite high in the trees and the zip lines are quite good. There is many great resorts on the Gold Coast. One that we like to stay in was Mantra at Surface Paradise. Oh, we've moved down to Coolangatta now. This is walking around to Point Danger. Looking up at Surface Paradise and Burley Heads from Coolangatta. This is on the boardwalk of Point Danger, uh, just not far from Greenmount and Twin Towns RSL. This was another 
resort looking out at Kira Beach. Cavill Avenue is usually absolutely bustling with people. This was taken in COVID two years ago, this photo. There are many great attractions on the Gold Coast at night time. Uh, one of my favorites is the Pink Flamingo. That little lady sitting on her partner's shoulders is a friend of mine. We have different ratings of shows. This was one of the mild ones called Suave. This is riding on the monorail from Jupiter's Casino um, back to our hotel in Broad Beach. Uh, Broad Beach is a beautiful place to stay. This video was taken a couple of years ago. There's actually a light rail that runs through now from Coolangatta through to Surface Paradise and Griffith University. This is Sunrise from Surface Paradise, the Chevron Renaissance, lovely place. There are lots of tourist attractions on the Gold Coast. Obviously, this is Dream World. Uh, there's Wet and Wild, Whitewater World, Sea World, Warner Brothers Movie World, and Outback Adventures, all just north of the Gold Coast. You will notice the roller coaster has stopped and the service people are up there. It broke down the day we were there. beautiful little family hotel called the Diamond Beach Resort on Broad Beach on the Gold Coast. It's lovely if you have a little family. Well I've just touched on a few of the highlights of the Gold Coast. It's always an amazing place to visit anywhere from Surface Paradise to Coolangatta is one of my favourite places, the Twin Towns in northern New South Wales. Well I hope you enjoyed our little vlog on Gold Coast. Please subscribe if you enjoyed it.